Math 265A, Cuesta College. I'm Joe Vasta, and we're doing section bug 10. Now, bug 10 is a handout that you can find on my website. And what we are doing with bug 10 is the mean value theorem. It's a very important theorem in calculus. And these if then theorems have um, the if part, which is sometimes called the hypothesis, and the then part, which is called the conclusion. And so what does this theorem say? It says if you have a function f, which is continuous on a closed interval, a to b, that sometimes they call that a closed interval, and your function, let's just circle this in this color here, it looks like this curvy thing here. Okay, and it's differentiable on the open interval from A to B, so that means we don't have any um, corners or anything like that, so we've got nice smooth graph there. The conclusion, then, there is a number C inside AB, and I have a C right there, such that F prime C, that kind of represents the slope at C, which is this top line right here, that equals f of b minus f of a over b minus a, which is actually the slope of the secant line, which connects the points a and b. And so you can see those two lines, this secant line and this tangent line are parallel. In terms of the bug, it says, you know, you've got a function that describes the position of the bug and you have a time interval a, b, it's saying that that time interval has an average velocity, which is that. They're saying that you can find a time within the time interval such that the instantaneous velocity equals the average velocity. And there could actually be more than one time within the time interval where that happens. Let's go ahead and do a problem from bug 10. Okay, suppose a bug is moving on a number line at time t seconds. His position is s feet from the origin. So here's function s here. It says find the bug's average velocity over the time interval from 0 to 1. So this is a question we've done in the past. And really what we do is we go s of 1 minus s of 0 all over 1 minus 0. Well, s of 1, you plug that into this function, you get 1 minus 3 plus 1 plus 1, that's 0. Put the minus sign. s of 0, well, that's just going to give me 1. And on the bottom, I have 1. So the bug's average velocity over the time interval 0 to 1 is negative 1 feet per second. So he's kind of going to the left in that time interval. That is the answer. Okay, find all the times that satisfy the conclusion of the mean value theorem. Remember the mean value theorem. The conclusion is there. There is a number c such that f prime of c equals the average velocity, and we have just found the average velocity. So what we want to do on this problem is compute the derivative and see if we can find something that has instantaneous velocity of negative 1. So the derivative here, s prime of t, is, and we could have called it v of t, 3 t squared minus 6t plus 1. And so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to set this equal to negative 1. Okay, so I'm trying to find when the instantaneous velocity will be negative 1. Well, I have this equation here now. It's a quadratic equation. So when you solve this quadratic equation, you add 1 to both sides, 3t squared minus 6t plus 2 equals 0. 
Um, if we try to factor it, you're sad because this thing doesn't factor. So we have to do the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula says negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared, 36, minus 4 times a times c, that's going to be minus 24. This is all over 2a, 6. So this is going to be 6 plus or minus the square root of 12 over 6. Now notice what it says here. This is, this is great. We can just round to two decimal places. So this is going to kick out two numbers. And when I did that on my calculator, I got, and I'm rounding to two decimal places, I got 1.58 and the other one's 0.42. Okay, find all times that satisfy the conclusion of the mean value theorem, which means is there a time in, in our interval that we have here? And there should be, because this function is continuous and differentiable everywhere, really, in, in, in this interval as well. So which time is in that interval? It would be the time... 0.42 seconds. There's the answer. Now, what is this really saying? It's really saying that the velocity at 0.42 is equal to the average velocity over the time interval. That is what the mean value theorem says. And we were able to find a time. Now, we're done with this problem, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, the visual on this. I'm going to go ahead and graph this. I'm going to graph the representation for average velocity, which is a secant line. And then I'm going to graph the representation for this number right here. Um, for, wait, what am I graphing? I'm going to graph um, the tangent line at this point. So let's go ahead and see that. So there is the function t cubed minus 3t squared plus t plus 1. That is this like purplish function. The average velocity, now notice the scaling is different. So there's, that's 1 on the x-axis and then 1 on the y-axis is right there. So even, you know, so that um, the secant line, which is this orange line, has a slope of negative 1. It doesn't look like that because I've um, my scaling is different on both axes. So that has, that represents the average velocity in the time interval 0 to 1. Well, here's the point po 0.42, which is right here, and you draw the tangent line, it gives you slope of 1, and I know that doesn't look like a slope of 1, but like I said, the the scaling, you know, there's one there and there's one there, so that's a little, the scaling is a little different. But you can see that the slope of the tangent line, which is green, equals the slope of the secant line, which is orange. And we were able to find something in there. Now that other point that we got, which was 1.58, is around here, I guess, 1.58. It would have the same slope, but they asked us to find the times that satisfy the mean value theorem, which means the times within our interval 0 to 1. So this is how you do bug 10. And when we come back, we will get to our next section, 4.2, which is the mean value theorem. So we kind of already know how to do that. Have a good day.